Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland neighbor, bringing the floor today, March 9th in all Upland cities. I want to go ahead and point out that I sold a property in Chicago, of all places, for 31,000 UPEX, almost 32,000 UPEX if you're looking at it, just 15 UPEX shy away from that actually. So pretty dang good for Chicago. In fact, when we look at the floor today, you'll see how good that is. I have to go back and see why this particular property is you know, so for that much, but I had it priced right because I just had it sitting there. I must have gone and seen what the floor was in that neighborhood at some point and was like, okay, this is a good price, and now it's sold. So that's how you do it. You toss that reel and you wait to reel it in and catch those fish. All right, let's look at the floor. Here we are. So I, oh wait, one thing you might want to do, if you haven't already, is go on your Sao Paulo Land of Drizzle tour. If you didn't register yesterday, then it's too late for that. But if you did, make sure you do take care of that. The tour is open. Also, they op they talked about um, MetaVenture Raid going on. So they encourage people to visit at least five different MetaVentures in the game by Sunday um, to have a chance at winning. Um, but you can also check out some deals right now on upxland.me to see if you can actually you know make your way to a meta venture that has something you want to grab like a cool little france mug or something good who knows so that gives you some incentive to go travel to some meta ventures that maybe you've been waiting to go see because you know you just didn't feel like leaving your city maybe you're hunting whatever this might be a good chance just to go ahead and have a reason to do so for me i'll pay attention to how much i've spent in travel fees because it's not really worth it if you're only winning 10,000 upix to go out and spend a whole bunch of upix for this. So anyways, back to the floor. Um, the floor itself, not looking too bad, but I did want to point out a bunch of $3.15 properties popping up all over the place in Kansas City, um, in Cleveland, in Chicago. And I did see this player is legit because I went and purchased some Kansas City properties just to make sure that it wasn't a jailbird or some glitch or something like that and it worked out so Kansas City is not normally like where I would buy properties but for three dollars and fifteen cents and twenty four percent less than what it normally is I think I'll do it alright happy hunting almost Friday let's get there